Okay, you know what time it is. Wii U Skylanders Giants. Let's go. First off, with the start menu, there's not too much to get into, but there definitely is a lot of choices to get into when you're exactly in the storm mode. So right now, you know, you're rushing, rushing through all the settings. Uh, you know, you're definitely standard settings. You have battle mode. If maybe one of your friends has the portal of power, they can hook theirs right up to the Wii U. Definitely, and both of y'all can get it on and, and definitely see who Skylander is superior. You know, I'm going to let you guys find that out. So it's a. Uh, it just came out last year, closing on to this new year, 2013. There's a bunch of Skylanders you're gonna want to collect. Now, one of the first three that they give you is Tree Rex. Here he is. The game. I feel like it's almost like a action RPG, smash 'em up yes, type, but yes, as well as leveling up your character as well. So this gentleman right here, this fine young man right here, will sell you different items throughout the game, such as hats for your characters. Sky Stones, which I'll explain later on. Different maps for the battle arena. Maybe unlock keys for certain puzzles that you have to do later on, which I'll show you. And you know, he comes in pretty handy when you find that guy. He's also located on Flynn's ship, which you'll see later on. So, the controls are fairly easy. You know, you have uh, each button will do something different. As you level them up, you can assign different. You can assign different moves to each button. You're gonna want to blast cases like that to earn coins. As you see at the bottom, I have a thousand thirty-seven coins. That green bar is, yep, you got it. My health. Then that bar below it, the white bars, that's gonna be your level, your level where you're at, your XP. And of course, it shows your name, Tree Rex. You can definitely use a nickname if you'd like. And an element to the left, which you see is a tree because, well, he's a tree. Now, in some sections of the game, better Skylanders would do better. As you can see, the little water symbol on the top left, that means a water Skylander would do better in this area. Level up. Yes, I leveled up in game. I did that. Epic. So I'm smashing these guys. Smashing them. Smashing them. Definitely. That guy wants to be my brother, but he can't, so I'm going to have to smash his daylights out of him. So there you go. Now, this little guy behind you is definitely where you'll see a puzzle come into play so the object of this puzzle is to maneuver this little guy onto those blinking red dots as you can tell I was having a little trouble registering my gamepad but I fixed it and you guys get the idea so I'm not gonna go ahead and solve this puzzle too much for you guys as you know what will happen that's exactly what you do right there. You want to light all those up. Now the audio for this game is amazing. It definitely switches up depending on what level you're on. The effects as well as the sounds for your for your weapons as your attacks and stuff like that is great. I think the voiceovers is awesome. The thing that I liked is that each Skylander will carry their information on them, which is cool. And as you just saw a little while ago, that shows, once you finish the level, it shows you everything you've completed, everything you've found, and everything you need to find. So you can go back with different Skylanders and unlock different items and different moves for other characters. That right there, you can customize Flynn's ship later on. Unlock a couple things. Now this guy right here. If you guys would like me to do, if you guys would like for me to do a review on Double Trouble, just let me know. He's actually from the first Skylander game. I was thinking about getting a couple of these Skylanders and doing single reviews for them, you know, showcase them to see what, see if they, see if you guys really like, really like them. So right here, welcome back. Ready this for nice fairy here upgrade? will upgrade your moves. So you can upgrade with the money that you've earned, you know, different stuff. And as you level up your character, more upgrades will be available for you to purchase. But now this is cool. If you like, you know, you use Tree Rex because he's super strong. You want to go and get all the coins with him and then spin them on Double Trouble. Well, you can because those coins are specifically Ready for, for Tree Rex. So I couldn't all trade right, off coins for other characters. So that won't happen. Here is a heroic challenge. Now they have different things like no kill 15 Just zombies or eliminate 30 spiders. Right. You know, this guy tail. Brock, also located on the ship. He will throw you into a pit and you will fight hey, endless amounts of enemies, which is oh, well, awesome and definitely a good fun pastime. You know, when you don't want to do finish off the story. Now, here's where we'll talk about Sky Stones. Arr, Sky Stones is a card game found throughout this 
game. Yeah. You will definitely see different people challenging you I to a Skystone match. And you know me, it's nothing to take I a challenge. So that. that's exactly what I do against this guy. And you'll acquire more. You can also Spider purchase legs. more from that fine young gentleman who was uh, displayed earlier. So the object of the game is you're going to want to have more of those points pointing towards him. See, he has none above, Mobile but I have one. Cyclops. So I'm automatically going to take capture of that square. That's exactly what you want to do. Take capture of all the square, or as most... In reality, you just have more Major. captured squares than the other opponent. You guys get the hang of it. I'm not going to go through all of it. When you win, stone you usually will be awarded with a sky stone. That's a pretty awesome stone. I am definitely might use that. They think she's still got the beginners. And he just talks mess. Here are the original Skylanders that come with Skylanders Giant Starter Set. Tree Rex. Bolts and Lightning. Cinder. I actually put that hat on her. So. Jetvac. I also put that hat on him as well. I know it looks ridiculous. Here in the start menu, collections. Your different movies, charms, accolades, sky stones that you found, things like that settings you know that chapter select you can go back and play previous chapters that like i said before and unlock different things with different skylanders well, the sky's the limit. so here you can see their stats hats and other things like that so i didn't mean that to rhyme but it just did because i'm super awesome like that you can also see all this information on the wii u gamepad here you have his max health filament power speed armor things like that critical hit play time that you've used with them you know definitely a nice game they really thought this out and the expansion you can use past Skylanders and new Skylanders in this game so it's, it's ridiculous and it's all HD here are all the hats that you can get I know it's ridiculous right different crazy hats you know with different powers you know increase their yes, maybe their element power maybe fine. their shield different things like that here you can do quick upgrades just as you see with mr. jet vac and then quests, what rank you're at, and different things like that. Here you can manage his nickname, ownership, and update code. Actually, might take out the update code. I forgot I show this, but you can still use it on Skylanders Universe. That about wraps it up for the Skylanders Giants review. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. More reviews will be posted this week, so I'll see you soon.